So we have here a piece of the intestine, and we have the water that has some enzymes in there. That is uh, a part of the tube of the small intestine, and we have oil. We ate also something in oil, and we just to show you that actually it does not blend together. The oil is on top, and the water is below. Yeah, you see that they are not blending together. Yeah. So the oil is below there. Now, we need to make the fat getting and blend together with the water. So, any ideas? Shake, shake. You can shake it, but when you shake it, after fairly quickly, it still separates. Two breaks. We need the liver. <laughs> yeah. What the liver produce? Uh, bile. 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 Okay. So bile is a, a it's a chemical that called emulsifier. Have you heard about emulsifiers? Or, yeah. I'm sure you do because you clean your hands a lot. Okay. So. To demonstrate what the, what the bile does, I have a bit of um, um, cleaning liquid. Yeah? Uh, washing head cleaning uh, soap. Yeah? And when you add the soap into it, what it would do, it would make the, it would mix well the fat and the water together. Yeah? So if you give it a bit of a shake, you would see that now the water, do you see the, the um, milky color? Yeah. yeah? Milky color means that the fat and the water mixed well together. So now, if this would be in the intestine, a bit of a shake once in a while would make the fat and the water mix together, and that's thanks to the, the emulsify molecule. That's what happened when you're, washing, when you're washing hands. Imagine you have hands that are very oily. If you use water, not much would happen. So you need, why? Because the water, the fat repels the water. So you need something that would break and allow the fat to be flushed with the water. So that's where the soaps come in. All the soaps work <coughs> in the same way, detergent. You are um, you, you mixing the fat together with the emulsifier or the soap, and that allows the water to come and wash it together. Yeah, so same principle happened in the intestine where um, the bile comes from the liver, and mix it together. Now, probably you've heard a lot about problems with uh, uh, gallbladder. Yeah, have you heard about people with gallbladder problems? What would be the what? What did you hear about? Stones. They have gallbladder stones, so the bile can be quite becomes crystallized. And then what do they have to have? Man. They have to be removed. Yeah. yeah. So where is this? Let me see if we have that. Uh, keep the camera rolling. Do you see here the liver? And this is the gallbladder. So what happened is that the liver, beside a few hundred other things they do, liver is an amazing organ. It does hundreds of different functions and we'll mention a few of them. The liver produce bile. Bile goes down to here. Now, if there is no food going in the intestine, the bile stop here and then slowly accumulate and build in the gallbladder. So you have, a gallbladder is like a pocket that is filled with bile. Once food come down there, it allows the tube here to open, gallbladder contract, 
and then the bile goes into the intestine, and that's how it mix. So, one problem if you have the gallbladder removed is that you never have enough bile once the food comes, and then your digestion may not work well. Yeah? So, for example, feeling an indigestion, or uh, building up of gases, or um, incomplete digestion, when you may be missing a nutrient, can be because gallbladder is missing, and all the time the bile is dripping here, so once you have food, there is not enough of it. Yeah? So that could be one problem of the gallbladder. Yeah? The pancreas in this area, it brings different enzymes. There may be five or six different enzymes that, that the pancreas produce to break this and that, um, carbohydrates, proteins, and all of that. Yeah. So that's about the liver and gallbladder and bile. Yeah, that's how it breaks. If you want, uh, after the break, you can, uh, during the, I uh, will just let it pass. Just do quick move, and you see how well it's really blend together. It's quite fascinating. Okay.